Yo, so I'm here in my apartment. I'm about to head to rehearsal, but it is cold and snowy outside. And I don't want to just be wearing my hood constantly. So I'm going to see if I can, if I can solve this real quick. Let me see what I can find. Our headband's still a thing. For today, I'm going to go with yes. All right, let's get moving. All right, so I just got here at Cohen Hall. I'm here about 15 minutes early or so to uh, meet up with Carolyn, who is one of my fellow company members who you might have seen in a previous video. We have a really short duet in the beginning of one of the pieces in The Migrant Body that begins with a lift that for the past, I'd say like, couple of run-throughs we have not been able to hit it just hasn't worked it just hasn't hasn't worked little things have gone wrong with it we've mistimed it other things have happened but I'm here about 15 minutes early I'm gonna meet up with her we're gonna work on the lift and we're hopefully gonna work out the kinks in it and get it set into the piece The floor in this space is actually incredible for spinning, so I am going to go for the world record with my side chair spin. Not really, but kind of, but not really, kind of though. Something. See what I can do here. What I can do here. 
You, you need to step, no, hold on, hold on. Don't step on his femur. You have to step as high as possible your joint. Yes. Right. I am currently pulled over on a highway rest stop. Uh, I just wanted to get my thoughts in order after what was really an awesome rehearsal today. Very productive, very explosive in terms of choreography and new movements and new lifts and all the stuff I enjoy. It was, it was really just the best. So, starting from the beginning, I got to work on the lift that Carolyn and I have been struggling with a little bit. I think we've missed it enough times now that it, it really was kind of like do or die. We got a chance to run through it a couple of times and we hit it. We hit it really well in the actual run through. Paula also expanded the duet that I have with Charlotte a little bit with a, a new lift going up off my leg, sort of pulling her up into the air. Very, very cool, very vivid choreography. I like it. I think there's more to add to it from there, a little bit to extend, to fill out the music, but it's coming along really, really well. So the duet that I have with Olivia, which happens during the grid piece within the migrant body, is one that Paula thinks we need to still work on and we need to improve, we need to smooth out. I think she just wants us to bring more energy to it and more passion, I guess, to the dancing. Maybe more fluidity in between movements, more energy... I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I know that when we're doing it, I do feel like there are moments where it, it's just a little bit flat, I guess. So we're going to see if we can improve that. In terms of my own parts, my own solo parts, I really, really felt good about the reading of the lines that I have with the phone which I, I can't show you all of. I can only show you pieces of until the actual performance. I really felt good about the solo that I do after it. I typically do a little bit of abstract modern choreography and then I lead into an air flare. I do kind of this dash backwards and then I throw a side flip. And hitting that flip, man, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. A huge part of it is the fact that I'm barefoot, which isn't a big deal when you're on a surface where your feet can still grip. That floor is incredibly well polished. They must run over it with the polished floor equivalent of like a an ice rink Zamboni to get it that smooth and that polished. And a lot of times I lose traction as I go into that flip. I managed to nail it tonight though. I really I really hit it well. In the part after that, 
funnily enough, it was right near 8 o'clock, and our rehearsal runs from 5 to 8. So this isn't always the case, but tonight some UVM students were queuing up to actually use the space after us, and they were peering in through the windows of the door. And I'm slowly walking backwards during this part. I'm just taking slow steps, incredibly slow steps backwards, and one of the UVM students just keeps walking by the door and keeps glancing in and uh, <laughs> like making eye contact with me while I'm doing this, you know, really slow and serious step backward. Uh, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. Unhelpful in terms of me staying focused on the piece, but entertaining all the same. I was really happy to get a chance to throw my spinning air chair on that floor and test out how many spins I can get. I always enjoy that move. It's always fun. So the plan for tonight is to head to a new spot, not too far from the spot that I actually went to last Sunday. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That entire road is full of really good spots. Uh, anytime you find a place like that in van life, I would, I typically, personally, I tend toward just using it, using it, making use of the, the road until I see a reason to move on. It's convenient. It's convenient. And if there's low traffic moving through, nobody's really going to mind. I am probably going to make tea tonight. I actually still have some candy left from last week, so I'm going to munch on that. I'm not going to cook tonight. I, I thought about it, but... I would have had to pick up ingredients and I ate before I left knowing that I would be probably really, really tired. It's easier to just grab food in the morning typically rather than setting up a the burner and getting all the pans and doing the cleanup afterward. There, There is a lot of work that goes into cooking and fan life that I'm not saying it's not worth it, but sometimes you just have to give yourself permission to not cook, to avoid it. So I may have forgotten my other tripod at UVM, which is really unfortunate. I swore I put it in my bag as I was leaving, but it's not in my bag now and I'm not seeing it anywhere in the van, but it's okay. It will end up back in my hands eventually, or I will acquire a tripod that I didn't buy for, you know, under 20 bucks. Uh, I like that one. I like that one, but it, it, it is a little precarious in the way that it sets up with my phone in terms of knowing that a single bump would be enough to tip it over, given that we're dancing and we're moving around and we have a lot of energy. It's a possibility that somebody will bump into it eventually. And if it happens, it's one of those, you know, breakage incidents where I will be annoyed because I totally saw it coming. But we're going to move on from here. We're going to continue to the spot. I will try to get a shot of me entering, but I don't have my usual tripod, so that might not end up happening. It's relatively warm out tonight. I'm surprised. It was a lot colder earlier today. It was snowing a good bit earlier today, but the weather has mellowed out, and seems really nice really nice tonight so one of my fellow company members charlotte was apparently following behind me on the highway and after i pulled into this rest stop which was a little bit sketchy admittedly the snow from earlier had fallen over the tiny exit ramp leading to the rest stop and so when i as i pulled off i i kind of skidded out for a quick second a hot second a hot cold black eye second uh but she called me like a minute later and she was like are you okay and i had to explain that yes i am okay i'm just a guy in a van doing van stuff doing van stuff maybe that means i'm not okay i think it means i'm better than okay but to some people me needing to pull off to the rest stop to film in my camper van take a moment to assess my thoughts might seem a little bit out there but I'm all right with being a little bit out there. I'm I'm all out, man. I am all out. The warm-up went really well. The warm-up was really enjoyable today. We did a, some improv. 
some shifting through shapes and motions. I felt like I got a better sense of the way that I move and how to break out of it a little bit more. It's always a challenge to try to break out of the way that you dance personally and to move in a new way. The more you do it though, the easier it gets, as with many things in life. All right, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna continue on. We're about maybe half an hour away from our next destination. No shower tonight. I guess I didn't shower the last time I came out this way either. But I have showered since then, so I, I don't smell as badly as I as I could smell. I could I could smell so bad if I tried, you know. That's true. It's a true fact. It's about half an hour to get to our spot. We're gonna head out from here. We're gonna drive safe. The roads are a little bit icy still, even though it's not snowing anymore. I will see you guys when we get there. All right, we have arrived at the spot. There are good things about it and bad things about it. One of the good things is that it's plowed, and I really doubt my other spot further down this road and kind of in a more scenic, less traveled location would have been plowed on a day like today. The downside is that this spot is portage or something like that it's it's a spot i guess for either a lodging boats or it's involved in the dam that's in the area it's just a little bit more public it's a little bit more out in the open but i think for a quick overnight stay it should be fine it's after 9 p.m i plan on leaving before 6 a.m or shortly after 6 a.m it's not really like a long period of time to be parked in a spot like this. It might seem like it, but generally you're within the realm of people still wanting to wait and see what happens. I also have, I don't know if I've gone into this yet. I'm actually sure that I haven't gone into this yet. A couple of people actually texted me from this, but uh, I'm going to hide my number now, but get one of these if you want to more easily conceal your intentions you know if you want to if you have a camper that's kind of borderline stealth a magnetic sign that you can just toss on or a couple of them i only have this one but i was thinking of getting one that's also related to like cleaning services or something like that if i wanted to park in a more residential area or a more urban area for areas like this where it is pretty rural you know green mountain survey services you're eyes practically glaze over before you've read all of that it just sounds so boring that people probably see it and don't think twice or if they do see it and think twice my number my actual phone number is actually on here too so they can call or text i will hopefully with my phone on silent hurriedly tell them that oh yeah yeah you know we're just out for the day and, and it'll be clear the van will be clear by tomorrow morning a step up, a more sophisticated form of getting the knock. All right, let's make some tea. So something I want to do in the very near future is put together a session with my breaking crew, my b-boying crew, who I also still dance with on top of dancing with Paulus Company because they are a bunch of interesting characters who I think would be great to get on video. They're super talented. Many of them are just as talented as I am in terms of breaking. And they are basically my family. They are the guys that I grew up with, the guys that I learned how to do all the tricks and flips and cool moves that I do with. We've been through a lot together.
I have to say, I do appreciate the strength of the flame of this burner. It takes very little time to boil water. And it does the job, gets the job done. Ultimately, that's what we're all looking for. Oh, I think it's a headband on moment right now. It is a little bit, a little bit chilly, a little bit chilly. I don't have the electric blanket on underneath me, so that might be part of it. My battery actually didn't charge to full. I noticed that when I powered up my electronics, when I flipped the switch on, it only made it to 94%. It was covered by snow earlier today. I only uncovered it maybe at around noon or 2 p.m. or so. So it's very possible that it had discharged a little bit and there just wasn't enough sunlight out today to get it fully charged from there. But it should charge right up tomorrow or the next day. I've considered going through the effort of getting my house battery hitched up to the alternator as many other van lifers have done. It would be super convenient. It honestly would be super convenient to be able to have my battery charge just off driving and not have to worry about solar. I only hesitate because, as with so many things in life, it just requires that extra bit of effort. And it's been very rare that I've actually had to change my behavior because of the battery running low. Very rare. I think... I would have to weigh the pros and cons of doing that upgrade versus just getting another battery of the size that I have. I could fit another battery in here. I made sure when I built this ottoman, I say built this ottoman, but really all I, all I did was carve out the back so that it could fit neatly against the wheel well. But there's room for another battery. I just have to clean up my setup and move stuff around a little bit. And I think that might actually be the move there's also room for more solar on the roof. I I didn't install more than two panels because I had the idea that eventually I would get some type of roof rack. I don't have a roof rack. I just installed the, the flexible solar panels flat, but I thought that I might get a roof rack and install one of the rooftop storage bins. There are, you know, a couple of different ones that fit this van, but you could also do stuff. I've seen people um buy like waterproof storage boxes i think even like waterproof gun boxes and install them long wise might not be the most conventional approach but really if all you need is like a box that is going to be watertight weather tight that you can store a certain amount of stuff that you don't want in your van up on it that should do fine and that's really the draw for me it's not so much just the extra storage, it's the fact that it's storage of things that I might not want to throw in my van because either it's dirty or just inconvenient to have back here. You could probably think of a few things without trying all that hard that fit that criteria. So we got the water boiling over here. Let's get this poured in. I'm going with orange tea tonight, orange Tezo tea. Incredibly simple, nothing fancy at all, but man, do I enjoy my van tea. It is the coziest thing in the world. It is the coziest thing in the world, honestly. On a cool winter night, cold, you might even say cold winter night, there is nothing cozier than just sipping tea, eating candy, chilling out. I got my Steam Deck with me, I'm going to play that and just sort of enjoy, enjoy things here in my van. so good. Alright. 
time for me to head to bed. I hope you guys had a good day, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever time it is where you're at. Hope you're staying warm. I plan on staying warm tonight with the electric blanket. Probably with a hood up. Feels kind of like a hood up night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Morning. Yeah, last night was overall not too bad. My body was pretty exhausted after rehearsal, but I'm always surprised at just how comfortable my van bed is, you know, even after a pretty hard day of exercise and a long rehearsal and a lot of moving around. Uh, it didn't get too cold last night either. I would rate it about a 6 out of 10, maybe a 7 out of 10 in terms of winter comfort with one being low, 10 being high. That was, that was fairly comfortable. Nice and cozy with the electric blanket. Uh, I do wish I had some coffee this morning. I might have to look into getting a, you know, like a mini pour over machine. Keep some coffee in here. Just on standby. Uh, but yeah, I can hear a good number of cars driving past now, so I'm going to get out of here pretty quick. Uh, we did have a fair amount of snow come down, I think at least like a few inches or so. I could see uh, the windshield is mostly covered, uh, but nothing, you know, it should be fine still getting out of here. I'm not in a spot where like I really would have a struggle, even if I did have a struggle. And I do have... Uh, traction traction pads that roll out you know basically uh standard van life item utility item that everybody should have but yeah i'm gonna get moving i will see you guys in the next one probably it will be uh on wednesday i'm gonna have like another solo rehearsal another solo session Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. See you guys later.